It's Sunday, June 1st, 2014. It's about 11 p.m. in the evening. A little late for me, a little past my bedtime, but I wanted to get this review out there. It's uh, been about three weeks since I've been carrying it. I was going to review it last week during the week, but I was in Indianapolis all week. I had the knife with me, didn't have the camera, and recording from your iPhone is just not the same. Uh, this is, as you can see, a Schrade product from the included leather sheath here. This is part of their old timer line. Now, um, the sheath, I've carried it some at work. Um, actually, I carried quite a bit of work with the sheath, put this through my belt loop, but on the weekends, I just been putting it in my pocket. And sometimes at work, I just throw it in my pocket. Um, it is a packed pocket knife after all, but it does include this nice uh, leather sheath, brown leather sheath. Um, so that was a nice surprise. I didn't realize it actually came with that. Um, they're actually calling this, uh, again, it's an old timer, but the Buzzsaw Trapper Lock Blade Folding Pocket Knife. Um, we'll go over the outside a bit here and then we'll get to the, uh, the goodies. Um, as far as the outside, first glance, you've actually got saw cut handles. There's your old timer logo. You can see they're not real smooth. They've got some uh, texture to them, makes for nice gripping. And they're not perfect. They're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be kind of crude. And that's just the way they are, and that's just the way I like it. Just think it's a beautiful knife. Even got a little imperfection there, which I'm perfectly fine with. You can see I have been carrying it in my pockets, kind of scratched up. Um, even from the sheath, they could get that, but that's mostly from my pocket. Um, so it's got the nickel silver bolsters. You've got brass pins throughout. So, beautiful. I, I really, really like it. A couple reasons why I got this. First, I like the look. It's, uh, you know, something like maybe your uh, grandfather would have, or your father, or something like that. Just kind of an old-fashioned look. It's called the Old Timer. Why not? A um, couple other reasons. Little features here. You've got a, right here, you've got a field pick, which you could use that. It's almost like a needle, but you could use that to, I suppose, pick your teeth, stab somebody with, I don't know, perform surgery, just about anything. But one of the other cool features, which sounds silly, but it actually worked out really well for me, true story, um, are the tweezers. And again, this is a true story. My daughter was over about a week ago. She just got her, nail, her eyebrows done, and she was complaining because they missed a hair, I guess. Um, I couldn't see it until I had to put on my glasses. You know, these 39-year-old eyes don't see as well as they used to. And sure enough, there was one there, and I kid you not, first pull, it got a hold of it, and yanked it right out. I mean, it was a small, small, thin hair, and I couldn't believe that it actually worked that well. I could believe it worked, but it was just like, you know, there was no fussing, no slipping off the hair, uh, nothing like that. Um, I was surprised. I was really, really surprised. Now, as far as the actual, the blades themselves, um, the blade, which is a clip point blade has got the, you know, has the nail pull there. There you go. It's got my fingerprints all over it. And the steel on uh, this uh, on both of the blades here is going to be uh, it's a 7CR17. Now this might be kind of dull. I'm sure it probably is. I'm not real good with paper press anyway, but yeah, it's kind of dull. I mean, it's sharp enough, but I've been yeah, it's pretty sharp. But I've been using the heck out of it. So, <clears throat> there it is. And this portion is not lockable. Now, you heard me say lock blade. Well, that doesn't lock. There's no locking mechanism or anything like that for the main blade there. It's not supposed to. It's an old knife. It's just a pocket knife. Now, the next blade, which is the saw blade, look at that beast. And to be honest, I have not used a saw blade, but I can tell you it is very sharp for a saw blade. I'm sure I'd have no trouble cutting through most anything, that, you know, within reason. It feels definitely sharper than my Leatherman saw blade. Quite a bit sharper, actually, which is surprising. Uh, but more importantly, this is locking. So you're not going to, you know, if you're going back and forth, you're not going to jam it up on, on something and come back and saw your fingers off. And the lock blade right here, which both the, uh, you know, the lock blade itself, this whole entire mechanism here, um, is heat treated uh, springs. See how that's locked over? So you close that, you push that over, and then you close your blade. And to 
pull that, see right there, it just sticks out a little bit. It doesn't stick out as far as the tweezers. So there's your saw blade. Right there. So you got a nail pull, and then you got this pull here. Now as far as dimensions, um, they say blade length 3.7, handles 4.1, overall 7.8, 0.25 pounds. Um, we'll go with a longer blade, which is going to be the saw. They're probably not talking about the saw blade. Maybe they are. 3.7. Yeah, I guess they are probably talking about the saw blade. 7 point, yeah. So right on the money there. Go ahead and lock that back up. Weight 0.25 pounds. Let's go ahead and weigh it here. Two four 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 two. Right on the money, pretty much. There you go. Retails for uh, actually, believe it or not, only uh, thirty-seven seventy-two. Pretty cheap. I'm sure it'll be cheaper on Amazon. I'll put the price in the link below, like I always do. Um, part number is ninety-seven OT, which can be found. Boy, this camera, there we go, right there, right on the inside of the blade. Here's some more of the blade. First production run, straight classics. Again, you can see where it's got some wear from me thrown in my pocket. When you first get it, it's nice and shiny, there's no scratches in it, of course. Um, the blade is really not scratched, not too much. There, wipe it off. There we go. You have to focus again. So, there we go. Again, all timer, bus all trapper, lock, lock blade folding pocket knife. We'll just go by the part number 97OT. And I'll put the link to Shrade in the description and uh, Amazon as well. Again, retail is $37.72. If Amazon carries it, it should be a little cheaper. If not, you can get it from Shrade. 37 bucks. I mean, heck, you can pay that for a leather sheath, pretty much. Um, these days, you never know. But they do sell the sheath by itself, which I'll check and see. That is, not that you even care about that, but you may, because this will fit a large variety of their knives, actually. So they've got the medium, which is 10, 10 bucks. So they're actually not charging too much. Only 10 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Pretty surprising, actually. 10 bucks. I know my Leatherman nylon one was like 20 by itself. So obviously they're they're charging a fair price for their, their everything they sell. <clears throat> anyway, that's going to do it. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe and thanks for watching.